Hey guys, and welcome to our final lesson on uh, the unit time, okay? And our final lesson is going to be on measuring time in seconds, okay? So the first question I'm going to ask you is, how many seconds are there in a minute, okay? How many seconds is, are there in a minute? Now, hopefully, you all know that there are 60 seconds in one minute, okay? There are 60 seconds in one minute. And usually, to find out how uh, find out how to measure time, we would use something called a stopwatch. Okay, we'd use something called a stopwatch. Okay, so this looks like your more traditional stopwatch. Okay, kind of an old-fashioned one. Okay, whereas this is a digital stopwatch, the kind of thing that most of you will see nowadays, and these are the ones that we have in school as well. Okay, so just a quick question. Pause the video. How many seconds have passed on each stopwatch? Okay, so hopefully this one should be nice and simple. So on this one, the arrow, it would have started at 60 and then gone round clockwise. So it would have gone 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, as it is on the 50 second mark. And so 50 seconds have passed on this one. And again, it's very simple for this stopwatch, okay? It says 35 seconds on it. So guess what? There have been 35 seconds that have passed on this stopwatch. Okay, it's nice and simple. So, we have somebody complete, completing some star jumps, okay? This is their start time, so even though it points at 60, the 60 is also zero, okay? It starts on 60 and then goes round clockwise, okay? So it starts on 60 and then it goes round and round and round and round, and then eventually they finish on this point, okay? So, how long did the star jumps take to complete? How long did it take for them to complete the star jumps? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so we're just figuring out how much has gone round this highlighted section here. And to do that, we just need to find out which point is on this one. Okay, so we know. We can see that it's gone past the 35 second mark, but not past the 40 second mark. And I think it's gone... 36, 37, okay, as these small dashes go up in ones and the big dashes go up in fives, okay, so it goes 36, 37, so it took them 37 seconds to complete the star jump, okay, good, right, next one, so then I went for a run, okay, and for this run, I'd already started my stopwatch a bit early though, okay, so I actually started on 12 seconds, and then I finished at 55 seconds, okay, so how long did it take me for me to complete my run? Pause the video and have a go. So, hopefully we've all had a go. Now, it doesn't take me 55 seconds because I started on 12 Okay, so I've got to find the difference between these two numbers. And to find the difference, we use subtraction. So hopefully you did 55 take away 12. 5 take away 2 is 3. 5 tens take away 1 ten is 4 tens. And so it took me 43 seconds to complete my run. Okay, another way you could have done it is if you could have started on 12 and counted up until you got to 55. So say I started on 12, and then I added 8. So I added 8 to get to 20, a nice uh, whole round number. And then I would add on, I would add on 35 to get to 55. And so therefore I've got 8 plus 35, and that again would equal 43 seconds. Okay, so it took me 43 seconds to complete my run. Okay, final question, nice quick one today. We have a bar model here, and we've got 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds in the top bar. If I've got a 37 seconds making up one part, how much is going to be our question mark? Okay, what value is our question mark going to be to complete our bar model? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so we've got 60 in the bar. We need to figure out how much this part is. Okay, so what we would do is we would do 60 minus 37 because that's what we've got so far. Okay, remember, I've got zero ones taking away seven. Remember, if you can't do that, I need to exchange one of my tens. So I'm now down to five tens and exchange it for ten ones. So we've got ten ones minus seven equals three. Five tens take away three tens equals two tens. 
and so the missing number was 23 seconds and we can check this we can check this by doing 37 plus 23 7 plus 3 equals 10 I'm going to exchange my 10 for over here 3 tens plus 2 tens plus 1 tens equals 6 tens and there we have, we've proved that 37 seconds plus 23 seconds is equal to 60 seconds. So I hope this has been useful and uh, crack on with the questions in your book. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.